Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha! Yes, that's the ticket, the Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? Looks like I got a message. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. My message tube is full of nothing, as usual. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. Not portable. The old files, the old clients, the glory days, when people died with dignity, and Domino Hurley didn't exist. I don't want to reread the old files, it'll just make me sad. This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. My boss is always giving me these motivational sales books. They bought the farm, now sell them the cows. Stuff like that. Read them already. Didn't help. It's a deck of cards. 
better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. I don't feel like pitching cards right now. Domino's door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? The Code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. Well, well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. Uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? No, but I like to hear your description of it, just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here, having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Good tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out, if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trapped soul and you don't even know it. Just one more question about my job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. It's a hole punch. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Can I take your hole punch? Ha! I doubt you could take my half punch. Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. It's some sort of special work order. 
Oh, Manny. Just take the sentences one word at a time. You'll get it. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. Thanks, but I got solitaire on the computer, Manny. I keep meaning to mark these cards. Maybe card tricks some other time when I'm not so busy. Lights for wash, rinse, wax, and land of the living, depending on your destination. The driver demons operate this somehow, and the company won't tell a salesman how it works. Gotta keep us down somehow. Through there lies the Limbo Highway, and on the other side of that, the land of the living. Can't go through on foot. People have tried, but they never came back. Here's what I need. Wheels. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. It's a tool cabinet. It's locked. Hey, who the, who's messing with my stuff? Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect... Sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! Huh? No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Gladys? Gladys? Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Nice hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. If you hate your job, why don't you quit? It's not just a job. It's what I was created to do. If I get any farther away from cars than this, I'll get sick and die. It's like I'm not happy unless I'm breathing in the thick, black, nauseating fumes. <sighs> hmm. Can't imagine. All right, back in the shack, Mac. Later, Oni. Pony. Who's afraid of a little rusty water? Hey, who the? Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry, can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. I'm too big to drive. 
You're not too big. You just have a self-image problem. A what? Repeat after me. I am not fat. I am thin. Women find me attractive. Hey, I never said I was too fat for the ladies. Just the cars. The ladies like me just fine. <laughs> Screw the rules. Come with me. No, I don't want to get in trouble again. They said one more strike. And I'm out! Well, do you know anyone who can drive? Everybody's gone! It's the Day of the Dead, you know! Yeah, yeah, I know. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars! Hey, that gives me an idea! I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll but I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, hey, hey. that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. <laughs> That won't help it get signed. There's something big going on in there. Not when there's a door. Hey, Manny! Did you get that work order signed yet? No. Can't we just do it without? I told you I could lose my job! Manny! If I lose my job! Hey, 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 don't worry. Just go on back to work. I'll get that work order signed, somehow. Signed. I can't find my driver. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. <coughs> Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh yeah, like you're going anywhere. because it cost so much, we didn't get bonuses that year. Da caños. Yeah, right. Oh, I sold so many car travel packages when I was first starting out. When did I lose my edge? I left my tow truck back in my other suit. We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. are completely blocking the sidewalk. What if there were a fire? I don't need the hernia. They're just full of party favors, and I'm not in the party mood. Looks like some sort of crafty mind. Hey, what's going down, clown? A hey, back off suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Some festival, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue. But that doesn't seem to shut you up, now does it? Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Bang! Ah, pop another one. Lousy, bony fingers. I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? The bread of the dead. Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. I get crumbs all over. I'll just take a little more bread to honor the dead. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. is looking at me. Hello? It's huge. I can't open it. It looks like a rope. But it's really just a bunch of cheap ties tied together. office. Domino locks his window. Fear of pigeons, probably. Looks like the boss has gone fishing. desk of Don Copal. Hey! Work orders are assigned by my office and are not exchangeable among salesmen. Swapping, selling, and specially stealing work orders will result in severe disciplinary action. All employees of the Department of Death Bureau of Acquisitions, employees who have made their sales quarters are invited to take the Day of the Dead as a holiday, as long as they make up the time lost on the following weekend. Idiota. This place is a mess. Just thinking about Don's file system gives me a cold chill. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. No time to ransack. Everybody's at the poisoning but me. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. How 
I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, great, Ziva! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. Eva, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripes, Eva! Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. They say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> Por favor. I could have walked faster than this. Ah, uh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. blade on my scythe. Soon I'll be coming for them. Did I look like that when I was alive? It's the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. Boo. Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. If I scare them to death, then they'll become a customer. But I'll get nailed with a conflict of interest rap. Psst, it's me. Death. I'll see you soon, okay? I know you can't hear me, but try to feel what I'm about to say deep down in your soul. Don't eat the gazpacho. Eh, fun's fun, but I've got work to do. I have to say, this food looks pretty good. In this world, all I can do is look, smell, and reap. I can't reap hamburger, cows, or a whole other bureau, not to mention the lettuce. Truth be 
told. I'd rather be setting this milkshake soul free. Can't reap the milkshake. Can only smell it. Mmm, smells like the perfect client, rich and sweet. Bound only by the paper-thin wrapper of mortality, a soul here lies, struggling to be free. And so it shall, thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named Calavera. I can't carry the whole package out of here. He's got to shuffle off his mortal coil. Then we can split. I can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. Can't take the living. They got to go through channels. Nice bathrobe! But we offer several travel package upgrades if you care to... Cut the yeah! I want something cheap where I can get some rest and that's it! Ay ay ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Slam the front into the weeds. Tub the rear end. Do blowers. Pop it out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here. Have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno. But my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street! No job! No way to work off your time! Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill! Who you calling a scumbag? Why, well, I ought to... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick? It's time to take one. Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Híjole, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Domino Hurley, the sweatiest man in the office. You gotta sweat to sell, Callie, and you know it. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, hey, hey Callie, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? I got a nun too. Bruno's a pretty strange name for a nun, wouldn't you say? Well, you know how cruel sisters can be about nicknames. I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Why do you get all the good clients? 
You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. What did you do to get this job? You mean what's my secret to success? No, I mean how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you. But I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. I think we should team up. Be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Well, you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. Hey, Dom, what's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. Desk drawers? I don't have desk drawers. Hey, get out of there, Calavera. Look at all the diplomas. You have to have the proper attitude to get diplomas like those, Manny. Really? I thought you just had to have the proper postage. No use for it. That's some premium looking scotch. Have some, Manny. Just so you don't forget what premium tastes like. Fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Let's see. Where am I on this? Don Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. It's attached pretty well. Ah, the old head of the department, way before my time. I heard he was a total slave driver. Good afternoon. There she is, the number nine. One of these days, I'm gonna ride her right on out of here. Don't think so. It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the Department of Death. As a rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. That wheel should open it. Warning, 
fire system. Do not touch. Beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, oh, jeez. What now? Bet you can't do Robert Frost again. Hey, did you lose the one I gave you? No. Well, then just enjoy it for a while longer, all right? Okay. A cat. <laughs> no problem. Ta-da! My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, oh, jeez. What now? A dead one. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, oh, jeez. What now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. I think he just paid for the lobby renovation. How's it hanging? Not that I have a choice, but I wonder if I'd be happier working on a ship. Then again, I'm so competitive, I wouldn't be able to relax until I was captain. Yeah, right. For those who enjoy no-hassle travel, I don't need the hernia. Bruno, you in one of these? Must have picked them up already. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. It's a nasty chemical puddle. No thanks. That stuff smells terrible, man. I'm not getting that stuff all over my hands. This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. It's a squeaky little kitty. It's a deflated balloon. filled with a dark chemical. This balloon is filled with a light chemical. What 
is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. Oh, that's what's making that terrible noise. below. Servers down again. What else is new? The switcher looks pretty gunked up. Cheerful communications maintenance staff is on the job. Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tools with packing material. See how they like that. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. So how long is it gonna be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Can I squeeze in there, just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit. Summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. Just curious, how'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Say, uh, chatty Cathy, I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. Oh, not again. Ah, ah, ah. You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher! Spray that on this packing foam and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here! What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste! Hey, I'm still not getting any messages. I'm giving you one right now, but you can't see my hand. The deadbolt looks like it's not set. I've just 
just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. Good enough for government work. What are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. I couldn't play this card there. Are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh yeah! And it's even better company now! Hop in! You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calaveda. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. The only implication here is that I'm fired. Is it something I did? Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. 
Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha! Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. I just don't understand it. Why can't I find anything good for Mechi? She looks fine to me. I'm still on the case, Mechi, but I haven't found anything for you yet. Maybe I'm not the woman you were hoping for. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Bones in my office now you vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run domino here off the road all in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent there's nothing legitimate about this place you give all the good clients to domino manny now i'm embarrassed for you You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine! Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino. That woman was a saint and a shoo-in for a double-end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there, on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld, alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Hey! Is anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Who's out there? I'm you. Or rather, I was you years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. Get cracked, Flunky. I don't need any chatter right now. Hmm. I see you still have a lot of anger issues, my friend. I'll come back when your head is clearer. It looks like it dispenses something called Philodent. It stays here. Ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. I don't see anyone out there. Doesn't open. Hey, guard! How's my little Count of Monte Cristo? No, really. Who are you? I'm a fellow prisoner, my friend. Maybe, but your cell's a lot bigger than mine, jailmate. What are they gonna do to me? 
I don't want to alarm you, Agent Calavera, but have you ever seen a man sprout it? No, I don't go to those parties anymore. Then you don't know. There's nothing more horrible than the bite of the sprouter. Its deadly stinger spreads a green disease through every calcified pore on your body, leaving you veined with roots and flocked with grass, steadily growing thicker and thicker until you crash and bloom out in a horrifying bouquet of pain and fragrant suffering, screaming until your mouth fills with petals and your nostrils shoot out thorny stems, and the bulbs sprout in your eyes, leaving you nothing but a patch of wildflowers on the ground swarming with butterflies. Are you done? Yes. No, I've never seen that. Tell me that sprouting story again. It's not a bedtime story, Manuel. There's nothing more horrible than the bite of the sprouter. Its deadly stinger spreads a green disease through every calcified pore on your body, leaving you veined with roots and flocked with grass, steadily growing thicker and thicker until you crash and bloom out in a horrifying bouquet of pain and fragrant suffering, screaming until your mouth fills with petals and your nostrils shoot out thorny stems and the bulbs sprout in your eyes leaving you nothing but a patch of wildflowers on the ground swarming with butterflies. I love that story. I'm thinking about getting out and getting even. That's it. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. Yeah? Well, I got something they can stick in their fold. You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. My loyalty's still to the DOD, believe it or not. Hmm. Good boy. You just keep up that spirit and I'm sure you'll get out of here soon enough. Guard! How's my little Count of Monte Cristo? Cramped, ready for walkies. If you are still loyal, lay down and roll over and bark the company fight song, I know. Look, I did what I had to do. So what? You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. I ain't saying nothing until my lawyer gets here. Lawyer? <laughs> Oh, Manny, that is quite humorous. Hey, guard! How's my little Count of Monte Cristo? Look, you gotta open the door for me, amigo. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? I do not care if you're sorry. I want to know if you are loyal. DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. Well, no, but I am angry. I see. Well, keep up the faith. Hey, guard! How's my little Count of Monte Cristo? Get me out of here. Are you ready to reveal your loyalties? The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. I've heard you make threats in anger before. My question is, would you really want to hurt the DOD? I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. <laughs>